G'day Victoria, we're going to do the 2015 VCE Mathematical Methods 1. We're going to work through the whole paper, let's see how we go. So question 1 should be pretty straightforward, you should know how to do all of these very simply. Let y equals 5x plus 1 all to the power of 7. So for this you're going to use the composite or chain rule, whichever name you use, it's the same thing. So we're going to do differentiate the outside, so if we differentiate the outside the 7 will come in front and this will go down by 1, so we'll get 7 5x plus 1 to the 6 multiplied by differentiate the inside, so you differentiate the outside, multiply by differentiate the inside and that's just 5, so 5 times 7 is 35 and that's your answer, so it's just 35, 5x plus 1 to the 6, pretty straightforward and you should knock that over no problem. Second one, let fx equals log e to the x over x squared, find f dash x, so again you're differentiating, they've just used fx instead of y, but it's the same thing. This time you're going to use the quotient rule, so you're going to make that u, you make that v, you're going to do v to u minus u to v over v squared, so we'll do that up here. So we'll go v to u minus u to v over v squared, so v to u, so we're going to get x squared multiplied by differentiate log x and you get 1 over x minus u, well that's ln x, multiplied by, differentiate at the bottom, well that's 2x, all over x squared squared, which is x to the 4. So you can knock off things that are common, but there isn't going to be a lot common if we simplify this a little bit. x squared over x is just going to be x minus 2x log x over x to the 4, so one of the x's will knock out in each spot, so one there, one there, that'll become a 3, so we'll get 1 minus 2 log x over x cubed, and you're done. Next one, evaluate f dash 1, so all you're going to do is put a 1 there and a 1 there, so let's do that, so we're going to get 1 minus 2 times log 1 all divided by 1 cubed. Well if you look at that, you press log 1 on your calculator, you should know log 1 is 0. So this is just 1 minus nothing over 1. So your answer is 1 and you're done. G'day again, question 2. Let f dash x equal 1 minus 3 over x. Given that f e equals minus 2, find fx. So question 1 we differentiated, question 2 you're going to integrate. So really the question is that, oh with a dx there. So really that's the start of your question. So let's do that, if you integrate 1, very simple, you get x. If you integrate 3 over x, you get 3 multiplied by log x. There's no numbers there or there, so you have to add c. So if we integrate that, we get that. Now it tells us put in e and make it equal to minus 2. So let's put e in, so we get e minus 3 log e plus c equals minus 2. We want to find out what c is, so we're going to put all of that over that side, but first log e, ln e, so this is really log base e to the e, and you should know that, you can press it on your calculator, that's just 1. So this is really e minus 3 plus c equals minus 2, which makes it a very easy equation, you can just move those two both over to there at the same time, so subtract e plus 3, subtract e plus 3, so c equals minus 2, minus 2 plus 3, what's minus 2 plus 3? 1, so you're going to get 1 minus c. E. So that value is your c and that will go there, and that is the answer to your question. So find fx, so fx equals x minus 3 log x plus 1 minus e, and you're done. G'day again, question 3. Evaluate 
the integral of 1 over root x dx in between 1 and 4. Now they put in these two brackets, but you don't really need them, so they're a bit of a distraction. When you've got an a equation like that, it's much easier, I think, to rewrite that with a fractional indice. So instead you're really going to look at 1, so this is just x dx with a fraction there. So let's just think about it. It's on the bottom, that means it's negative. It's a square root, which means it's a half. Okay? And that makes it much easier to look at instead of, looks like a bit of a mess over there. Integrate that, raise it to a power, put the new power underneath. So if you raise that to a power, it becomes a half. Put the new power underneath, and that's your answer. You want to do that between one, between 1 and 4. So this divided by a half, well, what does that mean? That half can go up here and become a 2. So that will equal 2x to the half, or 2 root x. Then you've just got to put in 4 and 1. So 2 times 4 to the half, or the square root of 4, minus 2 times 1 to the half, or the square root of 1. The square root of 4 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. The square root of 1 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. So pretty easy. Your answer is 2.